What's going on guys? Skill 37 here, and today I'm going to be reviewing Transformers War for Cybertron for the PlayStation 3. Now, this game is fucking awesome. I cannot believe how awesome this fucking game is. It is like Batman Arkham Asylum from last year. Everyone thought it was going to suck because it was based on a superhero movie, whatever. And then everyone's all like, oh my god, the game's awesome. It has strong stealth mechanics. The controls are awesome. The graphics are great. Unreal Engine actually works on PlayStation 3. Like, the entire game was just phenomenal. Caught everyone off guard. And ended up selling so many fucking copies because the game was just beast. And, uh, you know, this game is doing the exact same thing because it's fucking awesome. Let me tell you something. This is the Transformers game we have all been waiting for. There has not been a single good Transformers game for years. The last good Transformers game was on the PlayStation 1. And that was like a long time ago. But yeah, this game is excellent. From a strong campaign, which is over 10 hours long. To the fact that you can go through this campaign with friends. Through auto matchmaking and or an invite system or private game. All that good shit. Then you got... It's own variant of a horde mode. Then you got a very strong in-depth multiplayer. So, you select the total package. This is the summer game. If you want to, you know, this we're not going to have any good games this summer. But if you want one game to last you a couple months until November and all that good shit, when all the real good games are going to come out, it's this one. Transformers War for Cybertron is total bang for your buck. 60 bucks, you're getting a lot. On top of the game just being all around epic, the game works, like in a sense, like they got it right. It really does feel like a Transformers game. The voice acting's on the money, the multiplayer's on the money, it's deep. The horde mode is actually pretty fucking entertaining. And the campaign isn't even sure. Like, I thought the campaign would be like in one sitting. Hell no. Hell no, the campaign's long as shit. I'm not even like halfway done with the Autobots campaign. I've been playing for like almost two days now. Fucking awesome. Awesome, awesome game. Let's get down to review before I say awesome again. Because, yeah, my favorite word. Okay, um, the story. The story has nothing to do with the movie. I believe it's some. I think it has more to do with the comic book or whatever. But whatever it is, it's fucking awesome. And it's just you play as the Decepticons first, and then you know you all invade Cybertron and shit. And then when you're done with the Decepticon story, you play as the Autobots and you figure out how Optimus got his titles, Optimus Prime. You know, you're not even Optimus Prime when you first start out. You're just Optimus, the fucking foot soldier. And everyone's all like, Optimus, you can do it. You can do it. Like that dude from the Water Boys in the game. He's all like, Optimus, you can do it. You know, he's in this game. It's amazing. That alone should make you want to buy this game. Okay, I lie. He's not really in the game, but you understand what I'm trying to say. Um, during the campaign, you can host the game, make it so random people can jump in and out your game. Uh, you can make it private, all that good shit. Uh, the, the mechanics, how the co-op works, flawless, very good. Your friends can jump in and out your game, all that good shit. There's a scoring system you can play regular co-op or competitive co-op where you and your friends compete for the high score. By the end of the match, everyone's all like, hey, you're better than that guy. High five, sir. You know, the graphics for the campaign are very nice. And I'm surprised because it's running off the Unreal Engine. There's not that much pop-up at all. The Unreal Engine is pretty popular for the pop-up. It doesn't have much pop-up at all unless you're playing online. Um, yeah, everything looks smooth in the campaign. The sound effects, everything. The campaign is just all around fun. It's straightforward. There ain't no silly ass puzzles and are stupid driving sequences because they can transform into, you know, cars and shit. No, it's straight run and gun. It's straight run and gun. And what's really good about the game, it has a really nice, mature, dark, gritty feel to it. It isn't like, you know, like the, the early cartoons where Autobots, we must stop the Decepticons and spread the word of Christ. No, it's straight kill everything in sight. Dudes is dying everywhere. Like, the... the it's just kind of, you know they're robots, but they're still dying. Everyone's all like, ah, and shit. It's an awesome campaign. Very fun. Very dramatic. When you play as a Decepticon, you really feel like a bad guy. And when you play as the Autobot, you really feel like a hero. Um, I know I said this before, but the voice acting, beautiful. They got, I believe they got the, the original voice actors for all the big main characters. Starscream sounds like Starscream. Megatron sounds like Megatron. Optimus still sounds like Chuck Norris. It's just off the fucking hook. You can buy this game for the fucking campaign alone. But yeah, so campaign, two thumbs up. Awesome, get this fucking game for the campaign. It is great. Oh my God. You get to play as Bumblebee. You get to play as Starsky. You get to play as all these other fucking Transformers they haven't even heard about. They even got Chick Transformers. What? Okay, so then you got the Horde mode. The Horde mode is, uh, it's just Horde mode. Like, you know, there's a little countdown and you kill shit. 
and then you get money and you use that money to either expand the map or equip your character you get them all badass and shit very self-explanatory it's in lots of other games but it still fucking works it's fun as shit and yeah multiplayer multiplayer I believe it has eight maps six modes typical team deathmatch regular deathmatch capture the flag kind of sorts of destroy domination things going on typical game types but online still very deep depending on how far you are in the campaign or your level or your actual online rank you get more stuff for your classes. You get the scout class, scientist class, soldier class, leader class, and just by you know those words alone, you can kind of tell the differences between them. And as you progress through the rank, you unlock different looks for each class. You can customize the show, the colors, their loadouts, and on top of loadouts, you know you spawn with what weapon you want. There are weapons to be picked up on the map itself. You got kill streaks. Do not confuse the word kill streak with the kill streaks we're familiar with in the Call of Duty games. The kill streaks are more based for yourself, like. A UAV without a map, kind of cool, right? You got, you know, extra, you know, strong, yeah, stronger health regeneration like that. The UAVs are not groundbreaking at all. Just kind of make you feel like you're doing something. The scoring system's tight. There's a, there's a, as you progress through your ranks, you unlock uh, abilities like, you know, more damage for stabbing people in the back, or you regenerate health when you kill people. Kind of like little, little mini perks. Nothing too groundbreaking. It's all balanced. Um, for each class, you get to have three customized characters for your class. So, you, you know, you can have three scouts set up, three scientists, three leaders. So while you're playing the game, you don't, you don't feel like playing as a certain soldier. You can just press start, choose different, you know, soldier you have saved up and shit, or you can set it to default. So a lot of customization. It could have been deeper. You can't exactly customize the straight-up look of your character, but you can still customize its color and what suit you kind of get with different weapon loadouts and all that good shit. The online is deep enough to last you through the summer, and it, it offers tons of replay value. Easily, this game's gonna have, you know, map packs, shit like that, but it doesn't really need them because the maps in general are huge as fuck. It reminds you of Unreal Tournament in a sense, where you gotta actually circle around dudes and kill each other. This game's about skill. Like, there are no cheap shots in this game. You have to actually go up to people, circle around them, and kill them. You know, it's just total fun. The online to this game is phenomenal. A little laggy, but it'll be fixed. The lag is not horrible, it's just a little laggy. So, yeah, enough about the online, all that good shit. I already talked about sound effects, the graph. I mean, Gravity. That's all about graphics, whatever. The graphics are fucking awesome. The sound effects, great. Guns sound like guns, lasers sound like lasers, voice acting, on the fucking money. Big fans, fans of the series will really appreciate the voice acting. Like I said before, very strong. Love it. I'm like having a total fucking nerdgasm at the moment. I'm all like, Optimus, you really sound like Optimus. Meta Megatron, you have that evil Megatron-like voice that I dream about. Okay, not that bad, but still. So yeah, replay value, strong campaign, online great, horde mode, everything about the game, excellent. There's like really nothing wrong with this game. A couple, a couple frame rate dips here and there, nothing too distracting. You're going to have frame rate dip. Whenever there's like a bunch of shit on your screen, you know, you're going to be all like, ah, it's, ah, something like that. It's, not, it's nothing too distracting at all. There's not much wrong with this game. You can look at all the professional reviews. You can look at my shitty ass review. But well, yeah, you can go back to all the professional reviews. Also the same thing. A couple of frame rate dips here and there. Nothing else is really wrong with this game. This game is done very well. It's like it's like Uncharted 2. Like, no one really thought Uncharted 2 was online would be as polished and professionally made as it was. And that's what the same thing can be said about Transformers. No one really expected Transformers or Batman Walking with Sonic to be as good as they are. They're fucking awesome. Final score for this game. 9 out of 10. This game will last you months. This is the game for the summer. If you're looking for a game... That isn't fucking blur or mod nation races, aka gay, or you know, split second, all those other stupid ass racing games or these stupid sports games that come out. You want an actual man's game with a with a man feeling, make you feel all like super robotic and shit. This game is the fucking truth. Transformers War on Cybertron, War for Cybertron, whatever, is awesome. It needs to be in your fucking game collection. And yeah, that's it. Nine out of ten. Thank you for watching this video. And uh one more thing. So my man, Ultimate General, your iPhone 4 is gay. My droid is better just because I have buttons. <laughs>